The Sword and Shield era has some of the hardest sets to complete, and it's not even close, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how and why. First up, before we go anywhere and do anything, my pal Pikachu, he ain't looking so great, you know? He's kinda, at this point he's deflating, and I think we gotta do something about it. I think I got him now, um, hopefully he's fixed. So, like I was saying, the Sword and Shield set of Pokemon cards is so very hard to complete. Ooh, I'm getting a little, getting a little dizzy. Whew. Pokemon card sets have gone from itty bitty small ones to nice and big crazy sets with some even crazier cards to get. I remember when I was a kid and Pokemon cards sets were super easy to complete, as I shown here in this video. And now I've been trying to complete all the Sword and Shield sets, and I can guarantee you that it's not that easy. And to show you exactly what I mean, I'll be right back. So these are all of my Sword and Shield binders, one for every single set. And I'll tell you right now, there's a few here. That's that's a little better, right? A little better. Um, <laughs> poor Pikachu. Man. Look at this. At how many binders there are here? These binders hold 360 cards. Sad to say, but Pikachu didn't make it. I'm just gonna interrupt the video right here as I have been lately, but I just gotta let you guys know about my 10 video subscriber giveaway. Make sure you click the card up in the corner so you can get all the details. But basically all you gotta do, leave a comment down below and you can win one of 10 prizes that I'm gonna be giving away. So here I have pulled up all of the Pokemon card sets, every single one. So if we start with the Sword and Shield series, there's 15 sets out right now. But if you look at that, we also have trainer galleries, we have trick or trade, we have match battles. You know, there's a lot here. We have a lot of promos, just a lot of extra stuff. When you go down to Sun and Moon, there are indeed 16 sets, but there's a lot less stuff. We go down to X and Y and there are 14 sets there, black and white. You can tell by now, we're just getting lower and lower in numbers. And as we go down, it's just gonna keep getting smaller and smaller. Look at Heart Gold Soul Silver has five. And then I mean, Call of Legends really is, that's really a Heart Gold Soul Silver set. Let's be real here. Uh, Platinum five, we got the promo series, the pop series there. Diamond and Pearl, we have like eight. What, we have eight sets here about that? You know, I mean, one's promo. So it really, it's like seven. Uh, Ruby Sapphire, there are 16 here. I will say there are 16 here. but these sets were a lot smaller. The E-Series set here, super, super small. Neo, tiny, and then base set, of course. Base set has got six sets, that's all it's got. Now let's actually take a deep dive into these Pokemon sets. So I'm gonna just click here on Lost Origin. Now we go all the way down to the bottom. There are 198 cards. There actually are more. It goes down to 217 cards. That is a lot of Pokemon cards. Let's bring us down to like an X and Y set. Okay, let's go Ancient Origins. So we got 216 versus, this one maxes out at 100. You guys can only see up to 78. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, I didn't research this video at all. So actually seeing that number is mind boggling. What in the world? Are you kidding me? So that was actually completely and utterly mind boggling. I can't believe how many more cards there are in these new sets. Like this is kind of crazy and it totally makes sense why I now could not complete my sword and shield sets. I'm gonna break out my overhead camera and we're gonna actually go over how I'm doing in my sword and shield set and this will give you a better understanding of just how ridiculous this is. First up here we're gonna be starting with my sword and shield base set. So immediately off the bat you can tell I mean I, I don't have a lot of this binder filled. So I know I don't actually have a lot in this binder, but what I'm proving with this point is by the time that we get to the actual end of the set, I didn't have enough room for the reverse hollows in the same binder. I actually had to break out a second binder for this one. So this is my sword and shield base with chilling rain reverse hollow. So I did actually indeed have to put in the reverse hollows into a separate binder, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. 
Because you really gotta think about it. All in all, Pokemon is a kid's playing card game. How is it that me, a grown adult making real adult money, I can't even afford to complete these binders? Let's move on to the next set and see what it's like. So just for the sake of content, I'm going to be skipping my Darkness Ablaze, Shining Fates, and Vivid Voltage binders just because these are all kind of the same as the first two where they're not very completed. That's just because I didn't actually open a lot of these sets. I got into these sets a little later than I should have. So let's just skip ahead and get to the next ones. Well, I actually used to collect completed sets, like completely completed sets. That was my thing. I used to be able to buy one or two booster boxes and get 90% of the complete set. And that was good enough. All I had to do was buy those last 20 cards that I was missing. Nowadays, you can't do that. And I have the perfect example with this next binder. Here we go, battle styles. This binder right here is a great example of what's going on in Sword and Shield. And that's because this binder, I have bought in two booster boxes and approximately four elite trainer boxes. So this binder should be pretty full. Well, when I open it up, you immediately see that there's two missing cards. One, this page is completed over here, but again, we got three cards missing here. We got one, two missing there. We're missing cards every so often. That's not how this should be when I have bought in so many cards. We just keep going through and then eventually we'll get to the end, okay? Now look at this, I have almost an entire missing page except for two cards. The reason for this is because that means I have that card grade. We keep going, look at this. This page completely empty except for one. I got one graded card here, one rainbow on this side, and then just the reverse hollows. I have bought in two booster boxes and more than four elite trainer boxes. At this point, I should have at least like an 80% completed set, but it's 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 not even close. Then we move on to Chilling Rain, which I'm I'm pretty similar with Battle Styles with this one. You know, you open it up right away. It's like, oh, look at that. Uh, finally, you got a completed page. Oh, look at that. Two more completed pages. And then we start going empty. Missing a couple. Missing a couple. What else? Oh, oh miss one. Miss one. We miss a few. And then we get to the very back and then these full arts, man. Look at this. It's empty. It's empty. All of these slots should be full. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going. We got Fusion Strike here. What do I got here? What do we got with Fusion Strike, eh? Okay, look at this. We got a couple completed pages. Completed pages everywhere. Missing a card there. This one, you know what? This one's pretty good. We're actually, you know, we're making pretty good progress with Fusion Strike, I do gotta say. But what happens once we start getting to the back of the binder again? I, I'm very curious to know what happens. It's empty. Why is this empty? When I'm going for completed sets, how come it's empty? And again, I can't even fit the reverse hollows in the same binder that the set is in. At this point, I think I've spent just as much money on actual binders than I have on the, the packs to open these cards. And then again, we get to the back and it's, oh look, I got one full art there. Oh look, look, empty, empty, empty. Oh look, two secret rares. And again, no reverse hollows at the back because they just don't fit. Have I made my point yet? I think we should go through a few more. I got two binders left. And yeah, if you, if you noticed, I've actually skipped a few sets and I don't have them all. That's because binders are impossible to find nowadays. If you haven't noticed, these things are so rare. Like you can't find them anywhere. So again, let's check this binder out. Look at that, pretty good. Oh, we got the Charizard there. And then we get to the back, look at this. This one's actually pretty good. It's 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 not terrible, but it's still ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know what? At least I could fit the reverse hollows in this one, I guess. Last but not least, we have Astral Radiance here. I'm gonna show off this last binder. Also, I need to point out, I don't even have the trainer galleries in these binders because they just don't fit. And there's no point even trying to make them fit. Again, look at how many slots are missing. With how many packs I've opened, I should have all of this completed. Look at this one though. I literally completed this binder. This is the last card. I have that many slots left. That's it. That's too many cards. It's just too many cards. I gotta, I gotta show you guys this because as I was putting my camera back to use it as my main camera, I looked at my floor and uh, that's, that's a, look at how many binders it takes to freaking complete these 
sets, man. This is just crazy. I just have a couple numbers here in my handy dandy notebook that I'd like to go over. I'm just gonna go over the bare minimums because we don't need to get super, super in depth with this, but I do have a bone to pick with this. If we look at the sword and shield base set, there are 216 cards in it. Now, how far should we go back? Sun and Moon base set has 163 cards total. X and Y base set, 146. Let's finish that off with black and white that only has 115. 115 cards. That is more than 100 less cards than Sword and Shield base set. That's, that's not okay. All of this being said, I want to know what you guys think about this because the more that I try to complete sets and do what I want in Pokemon, it just seems like there is some sort of gatekeeper stopping me from doing what I want. I wanted to get my cards graded. I wanted to make all my pretty ones encapsulated so I could have these memories forever. But you can't because it's one, it's so expensive to get cards graded. Two, you have to send a minimum of 50 cards. I think I sent 50 cards in to get graded and it cost me over two thousand dollars okay okay so you so you can't you can't grade cards okay so so what so what okay well i want to buy pokemon cards so you know what i drive down to my local walmart good luck with that man they're literally sold out within half an hour you can't buy cards i drove to the closest town which is about 40 minutes away give or take to buy pokemon cards there guess what no Pokemon cards. So I drove to the next closest town, about an hour drive, okay? Hour, hour, hour and a half, give or take. They have about seven different stores that I could get cards from there. Okay, finally, I finally found some Pokemon cards to buy. But guess what? Not only do they cost an astronomical amount, it's over $50 for any box that you wanna buy, unless you wanna go with like the mini tin or packs or whatever. And odds are you're not pulling a thing. So I spend $50 on the box, I spend $100 in gas, and I'm, I'm left with a, a pack of nothing? And then don't forget the cost of binders to put them in, which again, you can't find binders anywhere. I, I check Ultra Pro website at least like once a week and they don't have binders in stock. It's all out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. And then once I finally did start finding binders and putting all my cards in the binders, well, good luck because a full set doesn't even fit in a binder anymore. And good luck again, because you're not pulling every single card. Like I said, I've bought multiple booster boxes and I don't even have completed sets yet. At this point, I do not have a single Sword and Shield completing set except for celebrations. Celebrations, how many cards are in that set? 50. We don't need to even talk about how long it took me to pull that freaking Charizard. All of this being said, well, all I gotta say is, good luck completing a Pokemon card set nowadays. It's basically impossible. I know that I've given up. How far can you go before you'll give up trying to complete the Sword and Shield Pokemon card sets? Okay, last one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm getting really lightheaded, so... <laughs> Make sure you leave a comment down below to enter my 10 video subscriber giveaway. Oh, wrong way. Ah.